بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیکچر ٹو آف انجینئرنگ اکنامکس فورسز آف ڈیمانڈ اینڈ سپلائی بائی محمد شاہد اقبال ڈیمانڈ ڈیمانڈ اے مارکیٹ از ڈیفائنڈ ایز اے گروپ آف بائرز اینڈ سیلرز آف آر پرٹیکولر پروڈکٹ آر سروس کمپٹیٹو مارکیٹس آر مارکیٹ ود مینی بائرز اینڈ سیلرز so that each has, has a very small influence on the price uh, dema- demands and supply is a perhaps is perhaps one of the most fundamental concept of economics and it is the backbone of a market economy uh, its backbone of market economy demand and supply is perhaps one of the most fundamental concepts of economics and it is the backbone of a market economy the demand for a product is the amount that buyers are willing and able to purchase demand means uh, demand for a product is the amount that buyers are willing and able to purchase quantity demand is the demand at a particular price and is represented as the demand curve quantity demand is did de- is the de- demand at a particular price and is represented by a demand curve the relationship between price and quality demand demanded is known as demand relationship the relationship between price and quantity demanded is known as the demand relationship uh, next slide mm. Uh, the law of demand states that wait a minute the law of demand states that if all other factors remain equal the higher the price of a good the less people will demand that good the law of demand states that if all other factors remain equal the higher the price of a good the lesser people will demand that good in other words the higher the price the lower the quantity demanded the amount of a good that buyers purchase at a higher price is less because as the price of a good goes up so does the opportunity cost of buying that good uh, uh, now here one new terms enter and that is opportunity cost uh, here is this term mm, where is this uh, this is uh, i have make it yellow little yellow opportunity cost now you should uh, think about what is opportunity cost uh, law of demand say that uh, higher the price of a uh, good higher is its opportunity cost so you can think about what is opportunity cost and i will join you uh, in a moment as a result people will okay opportunity cost opportunity cost is uh, the cost of uh, we pay to buy something uh, for example uh, here is a person x or a person john john have uh, you know uh, only 100 bucks he want to uh, purchase Uh, you know some burger and uh, some t-shirt mm, like that stuff uh, so and some toothpaste uh, like that so 
all which he can buy in hundred bucks so he buy something which uh, is at a higher priority so by buying that thing the other things which he can't buy he cannot buy which he can buy if he don't buy the thing he buy but th- that is the opportunity cost the thing we, we are missing is opportunity cost for thing we are getting as a result people will naturally we move onward as a result people will naturally avoid buying a product that will force them to forego the consumption consumption of something else they value more okay the law of demand let a b and c are points on the demand curve a this is uh, let me take some color uh, i choose pink one mm, let me take highlighter uh, oh highlighter color is something else uh, okay mm, this is point a this is point b and this is point c uh, let us assume a b and c are points on the demand curve which they are each point on the curve re- reflects a direct re- correlation between quantity demanded q here Q is quantity demanded. This is quantity demanded, and, and price P. Oh, and on y-axis uh, here is price P. This is price. So we can see from this curve when mm, price is P one, means price is higher, then quantity demanded Q one is very low. and when price goes down means mm, let me choose some highlighter pen of other type when quantity demanded was p1 then price was q1 so when price is high quantity demanded is very low when price goes down somehow quantity demanded increases linearly and when co- uh, price goes much down quantity demanded go on up this is just to show this is not a real graph real graph is somehow oh, not that linear in some decaying exponential type like that the higher the price of a good the lower the quantity demanded a and the lower the price the more the good will be demanded Deter- determinants of demand Uh, here are some determinants of demand number 1 is income generally as income increases we are able to buy more of most goods when demand for a good increases when income increases we call that good a normal good when demand for a good decreases when income de- increases that then that good is called an inferior good prices of related goods related goods come in two types the first of which are substitutes substitutes are similar products that can be used as as alternatives example coke pepsi and butter margarine margarine usually people substitute away to the less expensive good other related products are classified as complements complements are good products that are used in conjunction with each other uh, for example Uh, toothpaste uh, toothbrush of oral b and some other company are complements to each other uh, and uh, uh, close up and uh, medicam or toothpaste both of them are you know uh, complement of each other uh, other related pro- products are uh, classified as complement complements are products that are used in conjunction with each other examples pencil razor left right shoes and coffee sugar determinants of demand consumer expectations when you expect the price of a good to go up in the future you tend to increase your demand today uh, taste tastes and preferences tastes 
tastes are major determinant of the demand for products but usually does not change much in the short run population if a if population of the country increased it will lead to increase the demand and vice versa number of buyers the more buyers in market in the market for a good the greater the total quantity demanded of the good at a given price since the quantity demanded is higher at every given price the demand has increased the availability of credit if it is easier to borrow money credit cards have lower interest rates or are easier to obtain etc do you think people will buy more or less of a good at given price supply supply represents how much the market can offer the supply of a product is the amount that producers are willing and able to bring to the market for sale quantity supplied is the amount offered for sale at a particular price the correlation between price and how much of a good or service is supplied to the market is known as the supply relationship the law of supply as the price of a product rises citruses paribus suppliers will offer more for sale this implies that price and quantity supplied are positively related producers supply more at a higher price because selling a higher quantity at a higher price increases revenue determinants of supply prices of relevant resources inputs input prices technology number of firms government regulation taxes and subsidies subsidies changes in the availability of credit substitutes in production producers expectations of future price equilibrium in market supply and okay market equilibrium in market supply and demand is an economic model of price determination in a market it includes that in a competitive market the unit price for a particular good will vary until it settles at a point where the quantity demanded and consumers at current price will equal the quantity supplied by producers at current price resulting in an economic equilibrium of price and quantity that's all hope you enjoyed the lecture tata for now love is